Love should be easy, why should it not? When all you want is to be loved, is to be loved. Love easy. Hey, what up, good people? It's me, Miss Ebony V. Welcome back or to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos from me. If you're returning, hey Sugar Muffet. Alright y'all, so we have yet another synthetic wig review. And you know we are all on this outre train, perfect hairline, melted hairline train, all that good stuff. Now I've also been telling you how I have wigs just sitting on the shelf that I'm trying to get off. Yep, we got another one of those today. The last one I had like that was Outre Julianne that I just recently reviewed and that I couldn't believe had been sitting on my shelf all that time. So now I have another one just like it, Outre Tiana, and I have her in the color DR4 slash Golden Amber. Now I don't know if you watched my Outre Ella video, but I mentioned how much I love this color in that video. And then when I noticed that this was the same color, I was like, girl, what you waiting on? Why are these units just sitting on the shelf? Crazy, right? I don't understand either. Now, this one came out around the same time as Julianne, around maybe before. I think Julianne came out around May or June. This one came out somewhere like March, April, because I've had mine since April. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to go ahead and get right into this review. All right, so here's the amazing packaging for Tiana. All of the units in this collection come in this beautiful packaging, which I love. This unit comes with a pre-plucked hairline with natural baby hairs, and it also has this 13 by four lace frontal area. The cap construction has the two combs on the sides, one in the back with the adjustable straps, as well as an elastic band. This is how the lace looks on my skin, so I will be tinting this lace to match my actual skin tone. Now, when I first put this unit on, I thought it felt a little snug, um, but then it ended up being pretty much a perfect fit. It does come down ear to ear, but it is a little snug on my head. Now, this is not what I consider a pre-plucked hairline, but I guess. So I did go in and pluck it just a little bit more and realized that was just gonna take me forever. So I ended up stopping and this is all the shedding that I received. This is what the lace looks like after I tinted it and I used my Kiss Cream Foundation in the color Rich Mahogany. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start melting this lace and I'm just gonna start with this middle section by cutting that off first using this razor. And as you can see, I'm cutting it in a zigzag motion for a more jagged edge. Now I'm gonna go in with this bed head spray, which I just started recently using and I absolutely love it. It is just so easy and less messy. And of course I'm blow drying it on the cool setting to get it to melt into my skin. And I pretty much do the same thing on the sides um, to get it to melt as well. Now I'm just gonna tie it down with this elastic band for about five minutes, just for a more secure hold and melt. And we are melted nicely and secured down all the way around. So now I just got to figure out how I want to style this hair. Um, I started with the middle part first just to see how it will look. And you guys know if you've been watching me, I'm not normally a middle part fan. So yeah, I really wasn't feeling this. And so I opted for a side part. So now I'm just going to add some of my Nairobi foaming lotion just to mold this part into place. Just for us, just for us. So now 
So I also just recently started using this hair fetish lace and knot eraser, which I absolutely love this as well. Um, I feel like it makes my part look extremely natural, um, even better than when I used to use the foundation powder. And now I'm using this L'Oreal Magic Root Precision Brush. It's like a little corrector um, just to go over any blemishes or areas I see where the lace may be peeking through. I also decided to add a few more layers into the hair because it was just kind of falling a little blah and you know I just kind of wanted a little more swoop action. Alright y'all so after going through the styling of Miss Tiana let's go ahead and chat about her. Now I'm going to get into the good good first. So one good thing about this one in comparison to the newer perfect hairline units is that we don't have that faux scalp. I'll try to go back to that when you weren't doing the faux scalp. That's what we need. We like these perfect hairlines, even the melted hairlines, but no faux scalp. I didn't have to cut anything out, so that was a plus. Now, of course, I love the 13 by 4 free parting space. I showed you all your parting options. Now, I, I kind of like the elastic band that's in here. Um, only because it feels more flushed to my head. I almost did not have to glue it down whatsoever. I feel like I could have gotten away with it. So if you're somebody that either don't know how or rather not <laughs> glue any lace down, I think you can get away with it with this one because of the elastic band. I think that helps a lot. Now I got to switch to a con on that because I feel like because of that elastic band, this cap feels perfect fit to on the verge of uncomfortable. Just like Altre Julianne, I had the exact same experience. So be careful for my bigger head friends. I'm just warning you now. Now this unit is silky. Y'all know I'm a fan of the yak, but this one is silky. Um, however, I'm not getting that like super shine. Now it may come off a little shiny on camera. I feel like it looks shinier on my camera screen than it does to me in my mirror. So it may be coming off shiny, but it's really not. It really has a very nice luster. All right, so let's tap into just a few little cons, y'all. Now it says the unit came pre-plucked. Now remember, this is an older Perfect Hairline unit. So the plucking game wasn't all the way there then. I feel like they have improved. I feel like their newer units are plucked a lot better. You just need to take out that full scalp. <laughs> so I have the opposite where you don't have to take out the full scalp with this one, but I don't think the hairline was as pre-plucked as it could have been. So I did go in and pluck it just a little bit more. You do not have to do that. That's just personal preference. Now, of course, it also says it has a transparent HD lace, which of course, it actually wasn't white and ashy it was probably for um you know fair a little fairer skin it just wasn't for my darker skin so of course i had to go in and tint the lace and i feel like that was okay like once i tinted it i feel like we're melted nicely we're blended with my skin tone just fine i think the hairline was just fine now i can't say that i've been experiencing a whole lot of tangling just like super minimally we are shedding heavily of course, I'll take some of the blame. I'm not gonna take it all though. I feel like she was probably shedding before I went in plucking her and all that like, whew, she shed heavy y'all, shed heavy. And then it makes her frizzy. Like I just keep getting frayed hairs all over the place. So, you know, just be prepared for that. She is definitely frizzy. All right, so let's talk about the price. Now, when I bought her, she was a good whopping $47.30. Plus two dollars for the color. I guess Miss Tiana wasn't as popular and that price has now come down. <laughs> and the price is now ranging anywhere from like 35 to 45 dollars. A little different. So of course it all depends on where you get the unit as well as what color you choose. I'll be sure to leave a shopping link down in the description box below if you're interested. So that's really all I have for this one y'all. Like I didn't have too many issues with her. I feel like she's super cute. She serves a look. She melts it nicely. Like, I'm okay with her. You have so many different styling options with this unit. You don't have to, you don't even have to have a part. Like, I didn't do any extra styling, but you know, you can do some things with this jump. You can do a good flip over and, you know, be good to go. You can do a lot with this unit. Like, she can serve 
whatever you want her to serve okay okay she is serving Ow. <laughs> okay that look a mess but you get the idea <laughs> now with these kind of units i normally show you you know various styles that you can wear in but i feel like i do that all the time so i'm not gonna do that this video but of course styling options are endless so of course i want to know what you guys think about this unit please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below let's chat about her i thank you all so so much for watching this video i thank you all for supporting this channel those that continuously keep returning I love and appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just hit 2K and I am super excited about that. Like, oh my God. I thank y'all. I love y'all. Like, milestone achieved before the year ends. I'm so grateful. So, you know I got a giveaway coming. Mm -hmm. Yes, giveaway on deck. <laughs> All right, y'all, I ain't gonna hold you no further. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Please be sure to thumbs up this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.